Hello folks and welcome to the Panzer episode that you've all been waiting for. Now, I know that some of you guys have been a little bit peeved with me. You know, I've been getting comments like, Damien, you moron, what's all this 1000 euro E36 BS? We want the Panzer, give us the Panzer. Well, I have been working on the Panzer, but uh, the work that I've been doing has not been particularly video worthy until to the today. So without further ado, let's jump up here onto the front and take a look at what we have going on. So under the bonnet, we have our Ampera volt battery fully bolted in and uh, plumbed up. We have our high voltage control box all done, wired in and turned on. Um, inside the box there you've pretty much got the usual high voltage control stuff and I dusted off my old JLD 505 module uh, that you would have last seen being used during the uh, CHEDEMO campaign. And that is providing pre-charge control and battery monitoring for us. Um, coolant pump is just slugged in there on 12 volts for the minute just to run. Uh, so we can run coolant because right now the Panzer is not only charging but is DC to DC converting. So we have a 16 amp uh, charging point here. Uh, single phase 16 amp charging point uh, plugged in, plugged into our Tesla charging port uh, on the Panzer with the white tiger seal because white tiger, white tiger seals better. I'm just going to say that because it looks crap, so I feel better that way. Anyway, in the back or in the boot area. Uh, we have our Tesla Gen 2 charger, our high voltage junction box, uh, all wired up. I put the cover on the junction box in case I drop a spanner in there. Mm, bad idea. Um, in the back here, I don't know how this is going to come out, but right in there behind the suspension uh, mounting, we have the DC to DC converter. Uh, which is currently uh, running in fallback mode and putting out 13.6 volts for us. Uh, we can, we've got coolant running through now uh, the drive unit, the charger and the DC to DC converter. Um, charger is running. Uh, we have a, v, a V1 uh, logic board um, here, which is the original uh, version that I screwed up some of the connect connections on, uh, so we have that fixed. Uh, we're running Tom DeBree's um, excellent software on that now. Tom has uh, done a power of great work on that, uh, to the point now that it's pretty much plug and, pl and play. Uh, you just give, it, give the thing 12 volts, Tell it the voltage and current that you want as a maximum. You can plug in your charging plug and the thing starts charging. So, well done, Tom. Uh, if I can get this stupid tablet to just keep working for me. Piece of junk. Okay, so on the tablet, uh, we're connected over Bluetooth, or at least we were connected over Bluetooth. Um, to the JLD 505, there it is, it's starting, oh god, that thing scares the pants off me. Uh, so we're charging 351 volts, about 9.6 amps, 3.4 kilowatts. We've put 2 kilowatt hours and 5.8 amp hours into the battery. Uh, on here, on the Arduino um, serial link from the charger, uh, we've got a USB cable. 
It's giving us all kinds of data about the charger, so AC voltage, AC current, DC voltage, DC current, um, temperatures, the cable current limit, the current limit from the PWM, all kinds of um, interesting info. Uh, this particular board uh, doesn't have a memory chip on it, so we can't save those parameters, uh, but the V2 and the V3 boards do. Um, so we'll be fitting a V3 board to this before we button up the charger finally. Uh, so we'll be able to just save our uh, parameters, voltage, current, etc. Program the charger and we can pretty much forget about it. Um, I am actually thinking about using the charger, using the external CAN bus on the charger to command to send a few simple CAN commands to the DC to DC converter uh, to get it to just ramp up to about 14.2 volts. Uh, so I might decide to do that. That's pretty simple. Uh, and we have like it's basically there, so it's just a question of a little bit of software and connect up the CAN lines. Um, there's a CAN line here from the DC to DC converter and a CAN line there from our external CAN bus on the logic board in the charger. Um, inside the car, we've also got some stuff going on. Let me see if we can get you guys some light in here. Let me see what we got. Here we go. All right, so we've got ourselves a bit of a mess here. Um, I've got the center console completely removed uh, I just put the heating controller and some of these buttons back in here just so I could switch the car on without throwing all kinds of fault codes and stuff so, so <clears throat> in here we have our E60 M5 SMG gear shifter um, and that is how we're going to be selecting uh, re reverse neutral and dr drive um, for our Tesla drive unit. Uh, I made a little simple board there just to control that. Um, and when we have the center console back in, uh, we've got a little bit of a surprise for you guys in terms of what's going to be going in here. I think you're going to like it. Um, I can give you a little bit of a demo, I think, if I just put the key on to accessory, it turns on the power uh, to the uh, controller, so we're in neutral at the minute. We move over to the right, we're in drive, and we have to go over and up uh, to go into reverse, basically. So it's, um, it's quite a neat little system. Um, and then when you turn the key off, you're basically locked into neutral. So more to do here, um, but that'll be in a later video. Uh, what else have we got going on here? A uh, lot of 12 volt wiring to do still. So I got to take out all this junk here and kind of wire it more neatly into our uh, into our kind of control box. That'll have a nice polycarbonate lid on top of it uh, that will, you know, seal it off but leave it, you know, viewable so that people can see what's going on in there. I have a temporary fuse, just an 80 amp fuse rigged up here just while we're debu debugging the high voltage system. And I got to do things like connect the BMS harness and all that kind of thing. Um, so in terms of fusing in the high voltage side, I'm using two 350 amp uh, fuses in parallel um, that could either be very good or very bad. And I have an 80 amp uh, accessory fuse there that we'll be uh, using for things like the air conditioning pump and stuff like that that we'll be installing um, around this area here. Uh, so this is pretty much where we're at right now. Um, it's, you know, it's been a lot of work to get here, but now we're finally seeing uh, some of these components just starting to work and starting to come together. 
so this car is going to be driving very, very soon. Uh, now we can charge it, we can run the DC to DC, we've got our pre-charge sorted out. Um, so a rather dusty Panzer uh, will be getting on the road very, very soon. And I know you guys are saying to me, Damien, that's a 10 kilowatt charger. We want to see it run at 10 kilowatts. I'm on it, guys. Um, unfortunately, Dave's workshop here would not be able to supply us with 10 kilowatts. Uh, but we know a place that can, so that will be happening uh, as soon as I can. So I'm going to leave you guys there. Um, just wanted to give you an update on the whole Panzer experience. It is getting very near driving time, proper driving time. Uh, so yeah, there we have it. Right, uh, we'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, share and subscri subscribe. Uh, check links in the description uh, for my Patreon, PayPal and GitHub. Uh, should you wish to download some of the files for these Tesla boards that I've designed um, or if you wish to financially contribute to this particular form of insanity. So that's it. Uh, leave it at that and happy Panzer charging. <laughs>